What's up, Narco Gang? Man, it's been a couple days, you know what I'm saying? But it, it don't matter, it don't matter. Happy holidays. Happy New Year's to the Narco Gang. Shout out to the squad, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the to the squad. Anyways, man, y'all look, look, y'all know what kind of content I'm covering. So y'all know when I when I drop a video, this shit is crazy. So y'all look, bro. Y'all already know what was about to go down. Look at the title of the video. But before we get into that, y'all already know. Go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that bell. Show your boy you fucking with him for real because you know I'm dropping this content out here. I'm trying to hit this every day. I'm trying to be on top of this news, this urban politician, urban media. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on in the urban, urban media right now, bro. As y'all have been hearing... It's a lot of murders. It's a lot of shootings. We losing a lot of people, man. The list getting longer, man. It was Nipsey, you know what I'm saying? Dolph, you know what I'm saying? Bo three, you know what I'm saying? Vaughn, you know what I'm saying? The list getting longer and longer. But this is not a video of us losing a fellow somebody we know. This is a fellow somebody we know putting somebody else on a t-shirt. So we got a rapper catching our body, man. Living. Living they lyrics for real. We got a rapper catching a body, bruh. And this shit is crazy. Like, y'all think this shit is crazy. Look, back back in the day, when I was coming out, look, I was born in the 90s, bruh. You know what I'm saying? So, the rappers in the 90s, they wasn't really doing what they were saying they was doing. Like, look at the news now. Look at the artists that was artists back then. And look at their stories now. You know what I'm saying? Like, the... Well, let me see. Let me see. Let me, let me just say the TLC story for one. The TLC they made a they made a, a song called Scrubs, and the whole time they was really being the Scrubs. You know what I'm saying? They was the Scrubs. So as, as y'all can see from that example, the music from the '90s and the you know what I'm saying the early 2000s they was all cap, all cap. You know what I'm saying? They even they even saying Jay Z was one of the best rappers of the '90s, and that's cap. Everybody know that's Cat. He was a good businessman. Uh, he was the best businessman of the 90s, but as far as talent-wise, Jay-Z is not on that level. And I'm sure a lot of people can agree, and I don't give up if you disagree. So, yeah, with that being said, hit that like button, hit that comment. I mean, hit that like, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment if you disagree or agree with what you're hearing today because this stuff is crazy, bro. Like, man, like. Man, this shit is crazy. So like, I, that's really just what I got to say about it because this, this not even the end of the year, and rappers is either getting locked up, going to jail, I mean, or dying. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, you really either locked up or you you dead or in jail. Are, are, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no ain't no heaven for a G. Like Pac said, ain't no heaven for a G. Yeah, so with this K Flock, with this K Flock, I'm not sure if you heard of K Flock. K Flock is a rapper from New York City. He from Harlem, but you know how them barrel, them burrows are. Them burrows, they they, they they too close together. A nigga can get to you within 10, 20 minutes. He in a whole different, he in a whole different barrel. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Yeah, so he, it's that the barrels too the the barrels is close, bro. The barrels is close, and you can move from Harlem to to Bronx to you know what I'm saying to to Queens. You can move to that shit quick and then get, get the fuck gone. You know what I'm saying. So before I jump into this video, I'm probably the only YouTuber on YouTube that's that that's really breaking this story down. You know what I'm saying. No, I'm not from New York. No, I, I'm not part of the Stink Team. I'm not Stink Team. But I'm from Cali. That's why I'm from Cali. So. My mind, I'm not from New York. I'm not part of the Dream Team or whatever them niggas call themselves over there or the Supreme Team and all these other niggas in New York. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, hold on. Like the, like, I don't know them, like them, them G's, them o, OYG's, them, them YG's, the OYG's and the OG's and the Woo's and the Cho's and all them different gangs they got over there. They beefing in all time, like it's different than Cali, bro. Different than LA politics. 
So I don't understand what the hell they got going over there. Like it's just beef. Like them niggas ain't got no type of no type of organization. Like they ain't got no type of politics. They ain't got no type of discipline. Like them niggas is like the young niggas versus old niggas. Like I don't know how the gangs work over there. Like it, gangs is just crazy in New York. Like niggas is every man for themselves. You just rocking the same color. So that shit crazy to me. But yeah, so this I'm a, I'm gonna bring y'all back to where this this video started. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't see I don't really see a lot of people talking about where it started at. And it started from apparently the OYGs or the YGs are beefing with the OGs, right? I guess the the YG stands for Young Gunners or some shit like that, and uh, and the OG stands for Original Gunners or some shit. I don't know. I don't really know the exact, exact names of the shit, but I do know who is it who and where they stand at. All right, so now. Before we get into K Flock, right, it's the dude I want to mention so y'all can understand what's going on before we get into this video. It's a dude named Rod G's. I'm not sure if y'all heard of Rod, G, Rod G's. He's part of the O the the O Y O Y Young Y G. He part of Y G's. He part of Y G's. And um, I wanted to show y'all a video. I want to show y'all a video. Let me see. That way y'all can get a better a better understanding of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I want to see. I want to show you a video of why uh, 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 Rod G's and K Flock actually beefing, you know what I'm saying, on IG Live, so y'all can see the type of energy they got towards each other, so y'all can see what's going on. I can explain it better down the line. All right, so let's get let's get into this video. Bro, y'all, oh, scariness. I was volleying y'all. Uh, I was volleying you. Oh, 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 I was volleying Oh, you, my dad just just like, oh, we had you know you was you know remember what my mother in my stomach remember oh, let me go ahead and explain to y'all who is who this one over here well, this one over here is rod g's this one right here is k flock right so we're looking at rod g's and k flock this is just a dude that they you know what i'm saying just just look at him as a, a youtuber platform holder all right these two are just coming on his platform to hash out their differences right so, this dude over here is part of YG's. I mean, y, YG, YG's. Hence the name YG. You know what I'm saying? So, and this dude over here is part of the gang OG, Original Gunners, right? So, they, they beefing. They beefing, but they on the same live. See, I don't understand why niggas do that either. Like, y'all got each other number and shit. What the fuck? Like, y'all got each other Instagram. Like, niggas just, we got beef pull up. Like, what the fuck y'all niggas do all this shit for? Anyway, let's get back to it. Bozo. Bozo. Everything. I'm not even nah, gonna, I mean, OB, I'm not even trying to over here come up on live, say some hot shit. What am I doing? You got a thousand and four hundred people. What am I doing? You was jacking up for a year straight. You was jacking up for a year straight that you clapped me. What he said? Who clapped me? You really do this pussy ass. He said you was jacking for a year straight that you shot me. So apparently, apparently, Rod G's is claiming that he shot K Flock in the stomach. That's why he keeps showing his stomach. He like, you shot me in the stomach, but I ain't got no marks on my stomach. So why you capping pretty much? Like, you know what I'm saying? These, mind you, these some young niggas. Like, these some young niggas. They about 18, 19, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Like, these some young niggas. So, but they but they making noise in New York. They got a whole movement. So they 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 making noise. You know what I'm saying? But, so let's get back into this. You probably dig it. Fuck out of here. <laughs> niggas said them niggas was getting low. What am I dead? So they was getting out of there. Every time. <laughs> Yo, Hold on, I gotta I gotta add something else. There's a it's a it's a link to it as well. Okay, Flock got a cousin. His name is D Thang, I believe. And he is a part of his game. So D Thang, I mean uh K K Flock cousin is a part of YG's uh, on the same team as Raji. So yeah, shit crazy, bro. Now, like Jesse, your boy. Jesse, Yo, hold on, no. Bad. Wait, wait, why you, you doing bad? You over here, you over here, capping in your raps. You over here, capping in your. Why you jacking and shot me? Huh? Okay. Okay. What you said? What you said? Why you jacking and shot me in my stomach? Yo, bro, what am I doing? Oh. Yo, what's going on? This nigga head though, like. Jacking and shot me in my stomach. Hold on, y'all. Let's look at this shit. Yo, bro, what am I? What's on? Oh, look at this nigga. What's wrong with it? He got bangs and he got braids. 
Like, Andy, like, bro, you age, you got bangs and braids, bro. At New York, bro, y'all something different. I'll tell you that for real. Y'all claim to be different. Y'all definitely something different. Y'all body different for real. Because this shit is ridiculous. I ain't never seen no shit. This nigga head look a mess. Oh, word of my mother, I have my cousin on this. D thing even told me. D, that's who I, that's who told me. My cousin said you said you shot me my stomach before. Niggas don't care about none of that cousin shit, bro. Oh, just like you are a Fuck out! He's going around and shot me my stomach. You hot, you hot. Nigga, think nigga ain't gonna get me on IG with a thousand and five hundred views. Say I shot him, nigga. Are you hot? Nigga, you talking about hot? It's nothing on my stomach. All right, so now that now that y'all see the type of temperature that that they got with each other, you know what I'm saying? You see that they beefing with each other for real. They talking about shooting each other and shit. Like this ain't no friendly. Beef. This ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm a rap beef. Or I, I'm beefing with this rapper. Or no, nah, these niggas beefing for real. These niggas shooting guns at each other, claiming that they, that they shot at each other. You know what I'm saying? Shooting each other, team like like shooting shooting niggas, like killing niggas for real. You know what I'm saying? So this is some real shit that's happening. This is a pandemic or an epidemic that's happening across the United States right now. I don't, I don't know what's going on with what's in the air and why niggas think it's okay to. To, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's crazy. Like, we need to, like I see every video, we need to get it together, y'all. Get it together. For real, we need to get it together. All right, man. So, uh, I'm going to show y'all a little bit more of this, and I'm going to show y'all. I'm just going to show y'all. I'm, gonna show y'all. Like I said, I'm probably the only YouTuber on YouTube that's showing y'all this type of footage, all right? We ain't got there yet, but just understand that I got two more videos to show y'all. All right? This is the beginning. This is this is where it started at, right? They arguing. Now we finna go to this video. Mind you, I don't know I don't know Raji's real name, but this video right here is about Raji, all right? Raji's man, look, all right. Good evening to you, Kala. The police certainly have their hands full tonight, searching for six gunmen involved in weekend shootings, but they do believe they've made pro Look, right Raji's after that video. I guess they they really felt this type of way, you know what I'm saying? So Raji got caught slipping, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go ahead and progress in trying to solve a happened. fatal shooting from last weekend. Two juveniles with gang connections are being. This is Raji right here. They say he was on the way to a studio um, to go record a song or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Held in the Bronx tonight, high-ranking police sources tell PIX11 they're being questioned over last Sunday's scooter shooter murder. 16-year-old Raymond Gil Medrano was shot and killed in the back of a livery cab by suspects on scooters. The sources say Gil Medrano, who has ties to the Bloods, was likely killed in retaliation for the fatal shooting earlier Sunday of a 13-year-old reputed crew leader with the Crips. Meanwhile, the weekend bringing more gun violence in the city. No one else seems to die. All right, so y'all see what happened in that video, right? That's what happened to Rajiv. Rajiv got, you know what I'm saying, got got handled, right? So that was, I would say, I, I'm not sure exactly how long it was. I, I'm not saying that they did it. Look, look, I'm not saying that K Fly had anything to do with Rajiv's, well, you know what I'm saying, murder or anything like that. This is all showing you the ties of. The beef in New York with these two gangs, or these three, or whatever, however, however many gangs involved, you know, what I'm saying this is this is the 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 route that this taken. This is the the consequences of their actions. You will say, you know, what I'm saying like of their of the beef. Now, this video I'm about to show y'all is a video of K Flock. Now, I'm not sure if y'all heard of K Flock right recently, but like I said, he all over the media. He 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 a popping rapper that's out of New York. You know what I'm saying? He a dance drill rapper. Or like I, I I know you heard of Pop Smoke. Um, you know you know that Pop Smoke dance that they do that they all they all connected pretty much when it comes to the to the dancing New York drill style. They all do that pretty much. You know what I'm saying? So, but they all different gangs. So they all they beef with each other and all of that. So, but the beef from that led all the way up until here. You know what I'm saying? So he went through one video. Went to two, uh, one video, two videos, and now three videos of me showing y'all where the beef started at. This is where the beef started. Well, it's not where it started at, of course, but this is where you see it on on on, on live because rappers nowadays like to go on live and 
show showcase they beef for their fans nowadays or whatever. So this is them beefing on here. This is you know what I'm saying R.I.P. Raji. Raji, you know what I'm saying you see what happened to him. You know what I'm saying that apparently a dude came up on this side right here. You know what I'm saying from this side over here and pretty much shot him in the head and he died in that taxi cab. You know what I'm saying and um, it's tragic. You know what I'm saying. So now from this incident. You know what I'm saying? The, the two gangs, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they dropping niggas. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is losing niggas. They up in the skull. So now we come into this video right here. You know what I'm saying? And now we finna get into this video. Now I'm finna explain to y'all who, which one is K-Flock and which one is the opposite. You're going you gonna to know who the opposite side is. But as y'all can see right now, you see K-Flock walking, right? You see K-Flock? This K-Flock right here. This is the girl he with, and everybody's speculating this is another girl, another girl that he was with. But as you can see, she kept walking, so I'm not sure if she was with them or you know how New Yorkers they always up under each other, so you never know exactly if they with you or not. But we're gonna wind it a little bit, and look, you see he's walking and he stops a little bit. Boom, right there, he stopped. See, boom, he stopped. He turned around and he's saying something to somebody in the store. It's a barber shop over here right so he's saying something to the dude in the barber shop right and i guess he decides to just say fuck it and just keeps on walking right so as he keeps on walking the dude in the barber shop is coming out of the barber shop there's another footage i can't really find it youtube is taking stuff down i'm not sure what's going on i know it's open investigation right now so i don't know why you know what i'm saying what's going on but i can't really find a video of the dude walking out of the barber shop but it's pretty much just, you, you're going you're gonna to see what the dude looks like. He's going to walk in, in the video in a second. But just imagine him walking out of the store. You know, you know how, if you if you know how New York stores are, they just doors on the side of the street. It's a street and then you just doors, you walk into the store. So there's a barbershop door. He walks out the barbershop door right from back here. And he's looking this way toward, towards K-Flock saying something, right? So K-Flock is saying something back to him. But we, there's no audio, so you can't really see... I mean, hear what they really what they saying. But as he's walking, y'all gonna see. He's holding something. He got his hand tucked. You know what I'm saying? He got his hand on something. So he holding something. This is K Flock. You know what I'm saying? He got the Montclair on. He got the Mary jeans. He got the Jordans on. You know what I'm saying? You gonna see him in other pictures, but but this K Flock right here. I'm I'm gonna have his picture in the in the thumbnail. That way y'all can see the thumbnail. Y'all can see what he have on matching up with what he have on right here. But yeah, so. He's walking, he's holding, he, he, he grabbed for something. So this, we already know, in New York, New York gun laws is crazy. Like, you're not even supposed to have a gun, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? So he already down bad. He already doing two to five for having a gun. You know what I'm saying? Having a gun in New York, in New York City. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep it moving. Hold on, let me see, let me see, let me see where we at right now. All right, so you see the dude that's walking in, right? The dude that's, that's right there. That's the victim. That's the dude that ended up getting shot right here. So he came out of the barber shop. Came out of the barber shop talking to K Flock. I'm not sure if he got something. It looked like he grabbing on something too as well. So I'm not sure if he got a gun as well. But y'all gonna see what's gonna happen. Come on. All right, walking over to K Flock right now. He zipped up his jacket. Piss up. Look, he see this is where shit gets sticky. You know what I'm saying? This is where shit get kind of crazy because everybody is saying, you see how he's zipping up the jacket? He's zipping up his jacket. He got his hand in his arm. I mean, his arm, his, his hand in his pocket, his jacket pocket, right? He zips it up, pisses his hand back in there. Well, he didn't have it in there at first, but he pisses his hand in his jacket pocket now. We're not sure if it's a gun in there or not. So when you talk about self-defense laws with New York, um, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's saying it was self-defense because he didn't know if the dude had a gun or not and he, you know you didn't want to find out so but yeah but this is not texas like in texas or in, in down south yeah you know what i'm saying somebody threatening you or somebody is walking towards you in a threatened manner and saying something already that's threatening and they put their hand in their pocket yeah you can you 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 liable i mean you 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 okay to go ahead and shoot that person and say you fear for your life but in new york it's different you know what i'm saying it's not the same case so you can't really just say I fear for my life 
if you never if he never brandished the gun, you know what I'm saying, and you never seen the gun, and you and you went to use the gun for excessive force. Technically, that's what they may call it. If the dude didn't have a gun, they're gonna call it excessive force, and you didn't meet you didn't meet it, it, it at equal force. That's not technically, you know, self defense in in New York. So it's gonna be a sticky situation for him. But let's get finished with this video. So he walks over there, boom. And, he, and this is this is where he got shot. This is where the dude Oscar Hernandez, I believe is his name, got shot. So I'm gonna back it up just a little bit so y'all can see. I'm not gonna pause it. I'm gonna back it up just a little bit so y'all can see. No way, I ain't back it up enough. My bad. Hold on. I'm back it up right there. All right. So he looking. He looking. He walking. Like what up, flock? What up, flock? And then flock just wow. Fired at his ass, and he. They say he got shot in the. He got shot twice. He got shot in the stomach or something, and then in the neck. So it looked like the dude holding his neck too, like he holding his neck. So he did like he got shot in the neck, and the and the guy right here is is the guy that was in the barber shop with him. This is his friend. All these people right here, were in the barber shop. See, he coming out the barber shop. All of them coming out the barber shop, except for these people. These people right here are coming out the barber shop. So they all were in there together. So we don't know if that was a gang of people. You know what I'm saying? Or we know these two are together because they came out damn near together. He can't. Oscar came out first, and then like two seconds later, this guy comes out. You know what I'm saying? So he watching with the scenario and what's going on. So I don't know. So this is this is this is a sticky situation. If y'all know, if y'all know New York laws and when it comes down to, you know, self, you know what I'm saying, self defense and gun laws, then y'all go ahead and drop it down in the comments and let me know because. To me, this is looking like it, if I if it was a, I'm, I'm in Texas right now, you know what I'm saying. So that would be self defense. If that was so, I don't really see nothing wrong, but I don't know New York gun laws. So if y'all from New York and y'all know New York gun laws, go ahead and break this down for me and let me know. You know what I'm saying? If this is if this is self defense, you know what I'm saying? Because the dude died. The dude is definitely dead. R.I.P. to Oscar. You know what I'm saying? But so this is definitely a murder case. So. So he fighting the he fighting the big one, you know what I'm saying? He fighting the big one. So I'm a, I'm gonna play it back one more time that way y'all can see it without me without me stopping it. And y'all go ahead and drop it down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about it, man. All right, man. So, as y'all can see, that's that. You know what I'm saying? That's K Flock. That's K. That's the. That's what happened. That's. It's all on video. Y'all, y'all gotta stop doing shit. On look, this 2021, bro. This ain't no 1995. You know, 1980s, bro. This shit is on camera. Everything y'all do is on camera. So y'all gotta understand that shit. You know what I'm saying? So. Man, free free that boy, uh, K Flock. You know what I'm saying? It looked like he didn't really want to be in that situation, but he ended up in that situation. So, that, so I mean, it's just it, it goes to show that it ain't it ain't always what you want to be in. It's always what what situation you in. You always gonna be in the situation. You just gotta do the best thing and, and and play your cards right. Uh, he always kept it on him, like you said. He kept it on him. He walking with this girl. He got he got the pistol on him. Like, he always got it on him, legal or not legal. You know what I'm saying? He got it on him. He don't care. Um, 
the dude that was walking out, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he, where I see he went wrong at, you don't press nobody, you know what I'm saying? You don't press nobody and you ain't got your, your pistol ready. And you ain't got your pistol out. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you do all that bumping and walking up, walking up on niggas and you never know what somebody, you know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't, and niggas ain't fighting no more, you know what I'm saying? So you got to have your shit out already if, if, if you own that type of shit. He should have, he, he should have came out the barbershop shooting if he was going to be on that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it cost him his life. Doing all that bumping and all that talking. As y'all can see, all that talking gonna get you, you know what I'm saying? Because not everybody finna be talking like, and not everybody finna be sitting there talking back and forth with you and arguing back and forth with you about bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, either you gonna pull it, shoot it, talk it, shoot it, or don't talk it at all. Let the nigga walk by and, and mind your business. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to show out for nobody because, you know what I'm saying? He could have been trying to show out for the niggas in the barbershop. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's that nigga K-Flock. You know what I'm saying? Oh, to run up and run down on that nigga, you know what I'm saying, and all them niggas hyping them up, and you know what I'm saying, and now look at him, and they're grabbing this homie and, and pleading for his life, like, this shit crazy, like, niggas trying to get a haircut, all over, you know what I'm saying, like, you just mind your business, bro, like, just chill, like, y'all not even, see, look, all these gangs and shit that's outside of LA, like, y'all niggas, is, like, it's, it's, it's not worth it. Like, that shit ain't worth it, bro. It ain't worth it. Like, because y'all got different politics. Y'all got di- different meanings. Y'all doing shit for, no- for nothing. Y'all doing shit that don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, it's to me, it's pointless. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas just doing all this shit just to make a name and be and, and, and get famous and build your fan base and y'all rolling the dice. Y'all niggas, is, y'all rolling the dice and that shit ain't, ain't, ain't hitting for nothing. That shit ain't hitting for nothing at all, so. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all for tuning in. This has been another Urban Politician video. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, bro, I mean, I'm, I'm, I just can't believe, you know what I'm saying, niggas keep sell, putting themselves in this situation. You know what I'm saying? Niggas keep selling themselves short. You know, like, like he had, he was getting millions and millions of followers on YouTube for his music videos. You know what I'm saying? And he just gonna throw it away. Like I'm not I, I don't know if he if he's guilty or not. I'm just saying like he put himself in this situation. And uh, Oscar too, you know what I'm saying? Both of them put themselves in a bad situation. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it's a lose lose situation for, for everybody all around. You know what I'm saying? Our people need to do better and um and keep that hold hold their head high. You know what I'm saying? Raise their families, raise their kids, take care of their women, they they you know what I'm saying, they mamas and stuff, bro, and, and uh Get that money, bro. Like, keep your head on the right, on the, keep your head, keep, definitely keep your head on the swivel, because as y'all can see, niggas just walk, walk up out of nowhere, but, you know what I'm saying, if you can get up out of there, get up out of there. I just saying run away, but if you can get up out of there, get up out of there. You know what I'm saying? If you can't, then yeah, you do your, handle your shit. But yeah. Sure. Um, or if you gotta, if you gotta throw some hands, you know what I'm saying? Chunk them holes, you know what I'm saying? Get that shit over with, you know what I'm saying? Don't be quick to run to, to guns either, you know what I'm saying? Niggas nowadays quick to run to guns, like, throw them holes, bro, like, shit. It is what it is. Look, win or lose, draw, it don't matter, nigga, fuck it, y'all, right, shit. Now, now look at you, you know, you, you in Rikers Island on, in the dungeon, you know what I'm saying? All over some shit you could have squabbled over, or some shit that probably didn't even matter, to be honest with you, but anyway, look. Uh, that's the end of this video, man. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. I'm telling y'all, coming, I'm coming, with, I'm coming at y'all with heat. You know what I'm saying? I'm dropping stuff that that most most YouTubers ain't talking about. I'm connecting the dots. You know what I'm saying? We ain't the police. You know what I'm saying? But we connecting the dots over here. We 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 seeing what's what's, what's going on in the world that we living in, and we staying updated. You know what I'm saying? So y'all hit that like button. Y'all hit that subscribe for show. Y'all hit that share button. Hit that bell, you know what I'm saying? All of the above. You know what I'm saying? And stay tuned to your boy, man. We coming in with some heat, bro. We out this thing. Peace.